Right, welcome to, still week 18, episode 36. All the insulation is in, on the floor at least. Now it's time for the actual floor, which is going to be laid like that, in this pattern. It's Iger Protect. 22 millimeter tongue groove glued down with this their glue screw down with these screw fixings are on the back row every joist plus on the two short sides three screws one two three every 300 on that short side on that end and the short side on that end. I've pulled a chalk line so that I can uh, know where to put the glue. It's two beads of glue, two beads of five millimeter glue on every joist. It's pretty much full boards except the room has this extra bit on the end. So I've got to cut the first one, and then each one that comes to this side needs to have about 400 cut off the bit that gets cut off there. So the end that gets cut off there, I cut 400 off and start it here. Packing around the side, 10 millimetre expansion gap. That's it really. Just got to do it. It's about four o'clock. Let's see how long it takes. I will put you on time lapse. See how it goes. Hopefully, see you when some of it's done at least. So, first two rows of the floor are in. Took about two hours, probably longer than it should have done, because I was fussing around making sure everything was in line. Looks pretty good, feels pretty solid. The foam has, uh, the glue has foamed up like it's supposed to. That just gets scraped off at the end. So today, Sunday, last day, I'm going to try and get these four rows done. Hopefully they go a bit quicker. The fixing on these are, again, on the short side of the back, every 300, so three. Then every joint, joist on the back gets a screw. And then the front, only the front of each board gets one in the corner, one in the middle, and one on that corner, and that's it. And then this board, the next board, gets one in the front corner, one in the middle, and one in the front corner. So what I'm doing is putting it in the next row, then fixing that, so that it pulls down the board in front, under the tongue and groove. The time lapse of this yesterday didn't work, so I'm going to do time lapse now, and hopefully, you'll see all four rows go in. That'll be the floor done. Always takes a bit longer than you think because you've got to move stuff around, move stuff out of the way. Then I'll have to cut around the doors at the front. But it should work out that just the boards just finish at the front edge. I have to cut around the walls, hopefully. I might have to cut the lung edge as well. So that's it. So this, this works out well. Again, from Robin Clevitt's channel. Put some electrical tape around the bottle so that as the glue leaks out, it doesn't leak down the bottle and onto your hands. Also wear rubber gloves when you're doing it. Uh, that's it. Also, another little tip, Mark 
the joists on the last board so that when you're screwing, you know where the screws are. Um, you can see where the joists are at the back as the screw's in. That's it. I should put you on time lapse to watch the rest of the floor.
the end of week 18, Sunday. Most of the floor is in. I've left the last row of flooring to do. Because I need to do quite a lot of cutting. And I think that'll be easier once the rest of the floor is dry and I can do it from the inside. So I'll cut around there. Around that door. Around the other side. Well, it's been a good week. I've got the, the sheeting down on the side, the front, the top. Got the roof on, rewrapped in Tyvek, taped up. Got the soffit and fascia supports on the side. So now I've got left, finish the floor, put the windows in, put the doors in, do the insulation in the walls, plasterboarding, electrics, skirting, ceiling, lights. So still quite a lot. Painting, decorating, cladding on the back, cladding on the front. So a few days left, but a good week. Quite a lot done. See you in week 19.